Okay, so we're at the, uh, things are flowing right along on this pallet. It looks a little bit disorderly. But you know what, that's what we're specialists in. Taking disorder, making things look, that look impossible, and bringing order to them. Um, I've spent about a half hour, and I've got almost 20-some uh, 20, 20 cables terminated. And let me show you how I'm doing it. I, I land uh, 20 or so, and then I go in with my punch down tool. I check my cutting blade, make sure it's on the right side. And come on in here. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So you can take the cutting blade and line it up on the bottom. And what I like to do is use my thumb as a guide. I can just go along and kind of rapid fire all these things when you've got a bunch of them to terminate. Let me kind of clean up our panel a little bit and add more cables with less confusion. So it's kind of progressive steps. And you see how the my tool's on low impact, so I'm not flexing that circuit board in the back of this panel. There's a circuit board in it that flexes every time. So the low impact has a really low inch uh, pound torque on it that doesn't uh, cause that board to flex. But you see how fast they terminate once they lace in. And we're going to go to the next part of the video. I'm going to show you how I'm getting these to lace in so quickly and uh, how it's going to turn out at the end on every one of these. So let me just go ahead and show you that now. What I'm going to do, again, we talked about grabbing an inside cable. Uh, this is the most inside cable here. And the reason I'm working inside out is because I have my face cables. I don't want to just layer those over the top. So here it is. I'm on 175. I'm going to verify with another number, 175. And let's point this out real quick. This was my fault. This is a foreman's responsibility. I showed up on a job site without my black Sharpie, and I asked, a, I asked my coworker for his. Well, that left him with a blue Sharpie. So that was really my problem, but um, yeah. it's good that we're addressing that. Don't use blue Sharpie on a blue cable. Mm -hmm. All right, so 175. Let's go ahead and go over here. Let's go ahead and go over here to our uh, cross-reference sheet. These are the C-clips in groups of six, bottom and top. And 176 is right there. So it's the second set of C-clips, second one in. I'm going to re-verify again. Oh, it's 175, so it's the very first one on, on the uh, second bottom. C clip. So I grab it and you can kind of see right there it's going to line up. So I, I, I reference that with my thumb. Now you can use Cat 5 strippers. I've been doing this for so long that literally I never go through the jacket. I never nick anything. But um, stretch it out, cut it, cut your rip cord for your sheath. And I just like, I like to grab a pair. So I just grab a pair, and uh, you can zoom in here and see this. You can see the color code here. Blue on the right, that's the uh, secondary color. The primary is the white, blue, uh, et cetera. So you got to make sure you're putting it in the right order. So I want to line it up, and the twists don't always line up for us. But look how, look how easily that's split. Now I've got my green, and I'm going to line it up. See, it's on the wrong side, but I can... Just kind of wiggle it around, pull the brown pair down, add a little bit of tension to it. And notice I'm resting my thumb here. That way when I'm untwisting this, it, the twist isn't untwisting up. It's only untwisting down. So that's how you do it. And then we can just grab another cable. Uh, here's the most inside one right here. This is number 180. Go to our reference sheet. 180 is the last one on the second bottom C clip. I do the same thing. I use my thumb or my finger as a fulcrum around the 90. 180, I repeat the number to myself so I'm not forgetting. It's kind of a bummer when you forget and you're talking to somebody or you get distracted and then you've got to go down and you've got to figure out where that number went if you don't remember. So 180, it's a good, a good practice. Look again, I grab the blue pair. 180, I'm going to reference here just to make sure. Last one, second so you have the C clips. And you just want to move the stuff out of your way. You got to tell the cable uh, who's who's boss. You got to show it who's in charge. Don't let the cable dictate how your day is going to go. So here we go. Secondary, primary, first. I pull it down, add a little tension, keeping my pairs neatly organized. Well, this one's being a little bit of a, a booger. Okay, so here we go. There's my orange, and there's another one laced in. 
So I can just repeat that if you've timed that. It was probably about one to two minutes. So one to two minutes per cable. I've got 48 cables. That's just under an hour. Now, yeah, then the time to punch it down is about an hour, hour and a half, plus the final dress. That's it.